We have nitrous. I'm gonna start hooking it up in the back or start running it in the back. I'll show you what Jeff is doing. See, and he is doing some wiring and we got the pedals in, we got the five speed uh, shifter in. He is doing five speed stuff and I'm gonna do nitrous stuff. So let's take a peek what we got. That we did change. Now the car did have a transmission temp sensor or a gauge. Oh, we also did get the nitrous, so we have a nitrous gauge. So now we have to upgrade to a triple pillar. We have the proper lines to go to the gauge to the bottle. And then we do have a nitrous purge. We have a power coated bottle, which I'll show you guys when we get ready to go. Uh, this bottle belongs to the Civic truck, I believe. One bottle, we have one kit for the My SRT, and then we're gonna put a kit in the Civic truck. I don't know, we've made, we've seen them make nitrous come out of anywhere and have them in everything now. Yeah, and then I think we're also putting one in the black Camaro convertible, which is like a 2011 Camaro <laughs> SS. So yeah, we got some nitrous. So we're gonna clear out the back of his uh, messy uh, trunk. I don't know why he has all his stuff there, but he has like oil, stuff like that, that he uses and details his car with it. And then we're gonna make it so we can run this. So let's have some fun. So if you guys watched earlier videos, this is actually a piece that Jeff made and that is actually a battery tray uh, cover out of stainless steel because the battery will be back here too. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? Okay, so that bottle, we're gonna do a camera trick. And since I'm good and quick at painting, when I come back, that will be a power coated bottle. What do you think, Jeff? You think this is gonna work? Mm, maybe. Okay. Maybe think really hard. Like that, it is power coated. <laughs> power coated, it is painted. That was actually quite quick on me. So we have this airbrushed bottle. Let's see here. Now it was part of the car originally when the car was built many moons ago. So I lucked out, the old, old owner still had it. So uh, why not? It is a show car and uh, well, I think it would suit it just fine. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out how we're gonna do this. So my issue is you'll see that there is a full size spare, which now gives me a hump. And I really don't know how this bottle is gonna fit. I guess we could have like that out of the way. So it would be a pain for the on off, but I guess it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. What do you think? Uh, Just say yes. Sure. There we go. Like that. So with a little bit of magic, we have the bottle roughly sat in spot. Um, he does have a full size spare, so you see that it's up quite a bit. I suggest that the full size spare should be taken out and a piece of plywood should go in there, wrap it with some carpet and do a fake floor. That way the, uh, the nitrous bottle can be moved over to the left. Because right where it's at now, if you drill a hole straight down, it's probably going to hit inside the frame rail and it's not going to work. So we need a way to mount that properly and safely. So for now, we did run the line, the back seat's out, which is a bonus because we took out the stock neon seat and we have SRT rear seats to match the whole interior. So we're gonna do that when it goes back in. So the wire or the line is ran to the front. Let me show you. So here we are up here and there is the line. So we have three solenoids on this one. So we have the fuel, which is a wet kit. So we have the fuel. We have the nitrous, which came with its own adapter right here. That's part of the Zex Plurge kit. And then we have the Plurge solenoid. So um, a lot of it goes there and doesn't give us much room. I know on mine, I think right here, if that would close. Mm. Maybe down a little lower, but yeah. Well, maybe if you even bend that. I don't know, Jeff, you are on camera, so you tell me. 
Yeah. Even right here wouldn't be bad, but we don't got enough line unless you ran it up and over. And I don't like the idea of running a braided line over the turbo. Yeah, over the exhaust. And the only way you can do it is you might go eat and underneath the wiper cowl with it. That seems like a lot of effing around too. Is it long enough? Ooh. I might like that idea. Yeah, but. Let's see what the solenoids. So we'd have the, well, no, it wouldn't be long enough. Cause that has to go to the throttle body. Yeah, that needs. So none of the lines would be long enough. Yeah, that's that's the problem. So, because that has to be, I don't know the exact measurement until I look at the instructions, but that has to be something so so close to the throttle body, right? So that won't reach. You're best off like right there because that's right. Um, it'd be right in your uh, charge pipe and right there. Yeah. So. Obviously, just like loop the line or something like that. Yeah. And then into there. And then you need your fuel one as well, which we need to figure out That where. is your fuel. Is that the fuel one? That's the fuel solenoid. Okay, so the fuel one. And then the nitrous one obviously goes there. And then our line we can. Well, we can hide some of the line in behind, under the seat in the back. Well, that's just it. It doesn't need to all be out here. We're going to pull more back that way. Yeah, so. But, yeah, so if that one is in this area, that means our purge can go up in there. And then maybe spraying up the cow. Didn't I bring the purge out here? It's right there. No, no, the line. I brought the line out too. Yeah, there it is. Thing. So all you do is bend it the, just, the just way you want it, line. and then you just cut it off. Yeah, that's literally all it is. So, that one's the easy one. So, well, I say easy, but. So, hold on a second. What's that? Oh, that thing. I got a feeling that's where it's going to go. Okay, move all this crap out of that. So much stuff. The first part about SRTs, they're hard to make. A clean engine bay, like there's just so many vacuum lines and everything else. Plus, I think we should drill the holes to that, get that sat in spot, and then we can hook up the fuse panel that goes there. So the power from the back of the battery to there, the the uh, fuse block, which is right there. Yeah, because this going, fuse that, block is going to go like back, somewhere yeah. there, and then and then we could have the three purges right there. There's well, the other one's going to go up in the cow or wherever. Which actually in underneath here I'm looking is a nice dead space. So we'll just a drill lot, a hole straight it's up. A, it's a lot. It's a lot of room for the actual um, solenoid to sit up in there, and then you just bend the line to whichever way. So I think that's probably the best bet. Let's get the back seat in spot first. Uh, but actually, let's do this first. That way we can pull the wire back before we put the seat in, and it can tell us where we want to go. Well, that's nitrous, that's going the other way around. Actually, no, you're right, that's the way it goes. We can change. Yeah, yeah this is up that way. So the line comes in the back. What a cluster. Yeah. The good thing is we're putting this on the black SRT, so what we learned from this one, we're gonna do on the other one. Yeah. And the black SRT has the same uh, battery tray delete, the stainless steel plate that's bent. So, yeah, because there's that one, then that one. That's your fuel. Yeah. So, which kinds of work out perfect? So we put the return line there, and then we could just uh, wire it off and have the fuel line going underneath the intake manifold. Yeah. To that. Yeah. That's there. That's there. So yeah, then the fuel line we gotta. Um, scavenge some fuel somewhere. So, well, we got the return kit, so. Yeah, I think Y off the return is best. If anything, it'd be nicer to get an older SRT fuel rail that has the valve, the, the Schrader oh, valve. The Schrader valve and then you just pull the valve yeah. out. Because that's technically an AN fitting. Ex exactly. So it literally would, yeah. But, you know, I don't have one. And I think it's an O3 style only. So you could find them, but. So that, that would be the best bet, though, would be a sh the Schrader valve SRT rail or, an, a or an aftermarket rail. Well, it's, e it's either aftermarket rail, Schrader valve rail, or 
get a Y and run the, or get an, get a line and get a custom made line and run it over. Okay, so let's get that drilled, that bolted in because the two bolts are back there yeah. to hold that in spot, and then we can feed the line back to where it needs to be. So we can get the SRT seat put in, and it kind of gives us an idea where things are going to go. If you guys have run nitrous before, definitely leave a comment. This is our first time even messing around with nitrous. So, uh, and then all of a sudden I have three kits. So the, the nitrous fit, J-Swap fit is getting the bottle. The SRT is getting the bottle. Uh, the J-Swap fit is actually direct port. Um, the owner that we got it from, Devin, shout out to Devin. I don't know if he watches the videos, but he's given us all the parts to uh, do direct port on the uh, J-Swap. So that'd be kind of interesting. Hmm. And then we can run a bigger shot too or a safer shot, a larger shot that's safer per cylinder. And then uh, the black Camaro has a wet shot and then the SRT. And I want to put a bottle in the Civic truck. He says no, I say yes. We're going to see who wins this one. I always say no. And I always say yes. <laughs> I always say no to everything we do and look what happens. So the Civic truck is getting nitrous. <laughs> How do we figure that out? Hey, so there's no point of you guys watching us drill some holes and stuff like that and slapping that on. So we'll come back when the holes are drilled, that's fitted, and that way we can get our uh, solenoids down. Actually, I think it's gonna look kind of cool. It's gonna add a little clutter to the engine bay, but when you open up the hood and you see solenoids going there and some braided lines, you, you know it means business. Okay, so he has it in spot. He's just tying it down now. Me and Jeff were talking, and I don't think it's a good idea to, to Y off at the fuel return line, because if anything happens, it's gonna starve the motor uh, fuel. I think it's better to go off the rail. That way, the injectors are all getting the fuel first, and then that. Yeah, well, well the pressure will help that anyway, but it is also easier than running a line from all the way over there. Instead, you just run one from here to silver. So I'm gonna have to mention it to Johnny that he's gonna to need to find, or I'll have, well, I'll find, and Johnny's gonna to have to get a different fuel rail so we can just take the Schrader valve out and go directly right to the uh, fuel solenoid, which makes life way easier too. Jeff did a really nice job tidying that up because now if you look, it's stainless steel plate and it just it flows really well right there. Okay, so I do have an idea, which, I can't take credit for it because Jeff mentioned it. If Jeff moves for a second. No. Move. On. Here you go. Uh, don't do it yet. I got to polish that still. Show it where it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, sniper. So that's going to go like that. And then it's going to say the sniper nitrous oxide. Yeah. Alright, so I think you gotta leave here shortly anyways. Yeah. So I think the best bet is let's feed that line through and get that back seat in spot. Yeah, so it's we can one less thing back through like that's good. One that's less good. thing that we're tripping over and then yeah. we're working on that. So how's that nitrous gauge supposed to work? Because it's supposed to go a wire. It wires into the pressure side. It's no not wire, it's or, well, it, it, it's a mechanical yeah, gauge. Yeah, it, it so. go it goes into the the line pressure, so but the only way to tee in is down there. It's where either you tee into here or you tee into before the purge button. But you're better off. Pretty much you need another one of these. Yeah. To tap into it. And to have two there. Yeah. Huh. Which kind of looks ugly, but. Uh huh. If not, then you gotta get adapters for the bottle. And then you'd have to run and a then whole run line. line up to the front. Which would be a lot too. If you want the gauge up front, but do you really need a gauge up front? He bought a triple pillar pod, that's where he wanted it. I thought the triple pillar was for his other gauges. No, because the nitrous gauge would be the third one. What? Yeah, because right now it's boost and uh, volts. Yeah. And then the third one's nitrous. Ah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's about the only thing you can do is run the T off. It's either you run it up here where it's kind of a bit more of an eyesore, I think. Or you buy the very, very expensive gauge that we have for the SRT. Oh, the digital. Yeah, digital pressure. You put a pressure switch on the, uh, on bottle, the bottle and then and it's all electric. Yeah. But that's, that's a pretty penny. Yes, yes it is. So. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. We got some more stuff to figure out with this. 
and we're gonna put back seats in and really it's dark back there and there's, who wants to watch us put seats in so uh we're gonna do this as one video so later on in the next video or this video later on we're going to hopefully find a fuel rail and make the lines finish doing that part um the head gasket we're going to do next week anyways so we'll get that in we'll get the new turbo on which is power coated red which looks really nice we'll get that on and then his bigger injectors can go in at the same time and then it's just everything's just going to start falling in place yeah. so then we can get the uh hard pipes on because there's no point putting them on until we do the head gasket so then the hard pipes can go on blow off valve can go on and we can just start going it's just an order yeah. of operation it should go pretty quickly so yeah